What's up, guys? Welcome back to Mini SE in Focus. Today, I'm going to talk about all weather mats for the Mini SE. Specifically, I'm unboxing and doing an initial review of the Kagu all weather floor liners from 3D Mat USA. But I will also briefly discuss a few other choices. In the video description, you'll find non affiliate links to each of the mats I mention. It has become a little more important to purchase aftermarket mats for the SE since as of July 2022, in what they describe as a cost-cutting measure, many stopped shipping rear seat carpet mats on new models. They only include the carpet mats for the front seats. Let's regroup in the studio to look at the mats. Welcome to the 90 degree heat and high humidity of South Carolina and my decidedly low-tech studio. I've had my SE for almost a year and a half, and that entire time I've used the mini brand All Weather Mats. I have two problems with these mats. First, the shiny mini logo is nice, but it scratches easily and does not look good after only a few months of use. Second, and the bigger problem, is the low rim on the edge of the mats. They do not do a good job keeping dirt and grass from getting onto the carpet. Mini does offer a mat with raised edges, the All Weather Floor Liners. I was not aware of these when I ordered my SE. They look like they might perform better than the floor mats. Another brand I have a lot of personal experience with is WeatherTech. I have not tried WeatherTechs in my Mini, but I do use them in all my other vehicles and can recommend them as long as their more expensive price tag does not bother you. Here's a freeze frame opportunity listing the pricing of the mats I have mentioned. Let's get to the actual unboxing of the 3D mats. These mats feel premium and I like the molded texture. On their website, 3D describes these as waterproof and easy to clean with a carbon fiber embossed pattern and non-slip rubber surface. The materials are listed as TPR plus XPE plus Max Piter. Speaking of which, according to the 3D website, the Max Piter patented bottom layer keeps mats in place without harming the original carpet and keeps them from sliding around. I did notice that the texture does feel almost like Velcro. I didn't think to check for factory odor right out of the box, but I didn't notice any strange smells when I removed them from the bags. A day later, I specifically checked them for odors and they had none. I did do a water spill test on the passenger side mat and let it sit for a few minutes, letting it linger over the logo insert. I then did a paper towel test to see if water leaked through where the logo attaches, but could not detect any moisture. The last glamour shot I'll give you before installation is a size comparison against the mini all-weather mats. Of course, I had to give Fiona a proper vacuuming before installation. Don't worry, I got most of the dirt and grime out of the carpet before installing the new mats. Installation was simple. There are no floor grommets to align. Just align the mat in the space and press the Max Piter material into the carpet. I was very impressed with how well the mats fit into the footwell of the Mini on both sides. It does not seem like the mats will slide around. I also like that the driver's mat covers the dead pedal footrest area. Be sure to check for updates in the video description or the pinned comment. I usually update those spots with any new information or updates for the products I review, so I will report back if I have any problems with these 3D mats. But my initial impression of them is very favorable. And for those of you who just like to see the SE in action, I added a couple extra minutes of driving footage here. Thanks for watching.